first of all, we're happy that Zero is back. We, we didn't wish him to, to be out of the competition. But uh, sometimes you got to think about yourself and his back, so it's always a, a nice one. Now the team has been great. Uh, obviously, after the win on, on Friday, it was uh, good for the confidence of the team. Even though I don't think we played well, we won. Uh, but we have a lot of stuff to work on. We know also that's going to be a very difficult game uh, over there. Uh, they're a tough team to play, especially at their place. Uh, on turf, uh, so we'll see how it's going to go. But uh, so far, the team is okay. I'm absolutely sure everyone will be in. Uh, Temo, Joe, or Luke, who has just been uh, getting treatment this week, will train tomorrow. Uh, definitely, Temo and Joe will train tomorrow. Perhaps we dress Luke tomorrow too and just get him ready for the game. I think you just have to, you know, be educated before we start this game. Obviously, and, and you know, making sure that we know who their dangerous threats are, and we've got a good idea of that. Obviously, seeing them play, so it's just being aware and uh, just having that extra awareness, uh, you know, to make sure that uh, we take care of our responsibilities and, 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 and you know, win our individual battles. First and foremost, we have to just stay compact and organized. Um, you know, playing in a loud atmosphere. I mean, Red Bull Arena is no quiet place either. So, uh, you know, our fans uh, can. Uh, are pretty you know loud with just the best of them. So uh, you know I think that we're going to be hopefully used to it a little bit. Um, and for us, you know, it's you know Carlos and myself you know, and, and Greg behind us just staying compact and organized. They like the high press, and uh, you know they're they're a hardworking team. So I think if we can uh, you know organize early and often, that'll be help us out greatly. When we played DC United, the stadium wasn't full, uh, but you know the crowd was making a lot of noise. Philadelphia the same, our place the same. You know you can go to a lot of places the same. So. And you can see that uh, Portland just came in the league and doing the same, try to adapt to the league and, and actually more than adapt to the league, they have an amazing crowd. So uh, I think it is good for the league. Uh, and as I said to you, you know, not to compare anything, but it looks like a good uh, football crowd and or soccer crowd, as you say, and, and a good football stadium. So I think for me that's the most important thing. They are definitely a handful. I've just seen one or two games so far. We will sit down today and tomorrow and uh, have a look. Whoever you play in this league, it's the same. It's about the first goal. It's so, so important. They have players who can make a difference. Both wide players, very tricky pace. In the middle of the park, they are strong. It's every time it is a challenge to play. This game uh, in Portland is an important one for us. And and uh, you know that's the one we're concentrating on, and then you know we'll take it from there. But you know to try and look at the stretch as three games and, and, and not coming home is tough mentally. So you have to just kind of look at it, just uh, you know, on a game by game basis. And I think that's the way we're looking at it right now is our concentrations on Portland, get us, you know get the best result possible, and, and then move on to the next one. We're going on a road trip here with you know with uh, Portland, Seattle, Chicago, and then off to San Jose next week. For us, it's just about you know the first game is Portland. You know that's our number one concern. We we'll go in there, tough place to play. Um, cross-country flight and all that stuff. So I think you know if we can go in there and get a result, um, you know that should be good for us.